The answer is no, you're not too old to start boxing. Anyone can box at any age. But this all depends on one thing. What is your ultimate goal with boxing? And on this video, I'm gonna talk all about this, telling you what my advice would be, no matter what age you are, whether you wanna be a world champion, whether you wanna do this for fitness. And also at the end of the video, I wanna give you one thing, that if this applies to you, you should 100% not start boxing ever. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer. I won seven national titles, a European gold medal, and on this channel, I give you everything boxing, telling you how to punch harder, get better footwork, answering questions like this. So make sure you subscribe for more videos on boxing and how to get better at it. Okay, let's get into it. Now, if you wanna know if you're too old to start boxing because you wanna compete and you wanna have a fight or you might wanna become a world champion, it's always better to start boxing when you're younger. I started boxing when I was 10 years old. I had 17 years of competitive experience, 106 fights. Now at the end of them 17 years, you can just imagine how much experience you had because I started when I was young. But that being said, you don't have to start when you're young, but it's obviously better. Like anything you do in life, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. When you've done it from an early age, you're going to get better as you get older. But there's been multiple world champions that started boxing in their early to mid 20s. And I've done a full video on that. You can click the video in the link below after this and watch the video of all of these world champions that started boxing at a late age who had success. So it can be done. But my recommendation to you and to anyone is be self-aware. If you're going to the gym and you're sparring and you're boxing and you're getting beat up of guys maybe your age or even younger than you or older or, or whatever, if you're getting beat up in the gym and you don't feel like you're improving, you might be watching all of the videos on this channel, but you might not be improving. And if you're leaving the gym with a headache and just really have a think about it. Because I really believe that you need to focus on your health. Whether you like it or not, boxing is a dangerous sport. Getting hit in the head consistently is dangerous and it's not for everyone. But if you've got a burning desire to go in there and fight and compete, do it. Don't take notice of me. Because the last thing I want you to do after watching this video is in 10 years time when you're 40 years old, thinking about this video and thinking, Tony Jeffries told me to box. He's a f I shouldn't have listened to him. I really wish I boxed when I was younger. I don't want you to have them regrets when you're older. Now, the decision comes totally down to you, whether you're going to box or not. But my advice is be smart. Don't be getting hit in the head all the time. Think about your brain. Think about the damage that it could do. So be smart. Spar light if you're going to spar. Work on defense. Don't be a macho man in the ring and go toe to toe and, and try and knock each other. Nah, nah, nah. None of that stuff. Now, on the other side, let's say you are 20, 30, 40, and you're thinking, I want to box for fitness. It looks good. Tony, I've been watching your videos and it's inspired me to get into the gym, which I've heard a lot of people are doing on my Instagram comment all the time and YouTube, so I appreciate that. I read them all. For fitness, go for it. You might be 40, 50, 60. I've had a guy 65 years old sent me a message the other day, told me I've inspired him to hit the heavy bag and get fit and work out, which is fantastic because boxing has so many benefits to it. It's great for your self-esteem. It's great for confidence, it's great for your body, it's great for your brain as long as you're not getting blasted in your head all the time. It's great for your health, for your fitness. It's great for longevity, again, if you're not getting punched in the head all the time. Now, before I tell you the reason why you shouldn't start boxing, I just wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Onnit. This is a supplement that I swear by. There's so many much BS supplements out there Go to one that you can trust. This is one I can trust. I use it daily, my family uses it for post-workouts, pre-workouts. Their multivitamins, which is called Total Human, is fantastic. Day and night packets, what you simply take. And what they're doing for all my subscribers is giving you 10% off their entire website. Go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off their entire website. I absolutely love it and I swear by it. Now, if this applies to you, you should definitely not start boxing. And that is starting boxing to get rich or famous. So many people want to do it to get rich and famous and 99.9% .9 of fighters don't get rich and don't get famous. So if you're gonna do it for that, don't even start. There is a lot of boxers that started fighting late. Click here and watch this video next where I go through all of these world champions that started fighting at a later age.